A really quick guide on how to fix your split jerk. So the typical mistakes that we see when it comes to like most of our rolling lifters who struggle with split jerking is they'll either catch it and drive it out in front or they'll start to bend into their front leg as if they're doing a lunge. So remember that when you're doing a split jerk, it's not a lunge jerk, it's a split. So when you think of a lunge, a lunge is directional. If you're trying to go in a certain direction, whether it's forward, lateral, or backwards, you're going in a direction. When you're doing a split jerk, think of it as a split squat. In a split squat, you set yourself up and you move up and down. Your hips travel like an elevator rather than an escalator. That's the first thing to remember. The next thing to remember is that you need to make sure that you're getting into that position very, very easily. So, the, main, the easiest way to find your split, I personally think, is to stand up onto your toes and step out as if you were like, let's say, at the bottom of the clock face, so you're trying to step towards 10 or 11. And all you're going to try and do is you're going to try and push off the back leg and take a big step, like this. And you're trying to drop down. Now, what you should notice when you do this is the length of like, your step might not be perfect, but you should be in a position where your hips are fairly square. Your back toe is pointed so you've got some support for it, so it's not kinked like this or anything like that. And your front heel is nice and planted in the floor, and you don't feel like you're going to tip from side to side or go forwards and backwards. So I'll do that from the side. You can do this drill as many times as you want. Onto your toes, take a big step slightly across, and you should end up somewhere here. Now when you get here, just bobble up and down a couple of millimetres or a couple of inches. And what you should notice is that the weight is mostly in your front heel and mostly in the back toes. So the weight is pretty evenly distributed and your knee shouldn't really come past your ankle joint. So it can come up to the line of your ankle joint, it can't go past it. And you should also try to get into a position where when you dip, your hip doesn't go below the crease of your knee, that's also very, very important. Because that means you're going to be in a strong position when you stop the bar in a split jerk. So not just keep getting pushed down until your knee hits the floor. So, after this, there's some drills that you can do to be able to build your split jerk and build this position. So first, do this drill a couple of times, just literally stepping across until you find a solid position. You can do it off of both legs if you want, to try and see if one leg's better than the other. You just push off and find the position. After that, you're then just going to go into a little step drill. You're going to go like this, hands behind your back to make sure your body stays upright. And all you're going to do is come up onto your toes. But now, you're just going to put this back foot out like this. So I don't know if you can see that like this, but you're not really going to put any weight through it. And all you're going to try and do is drop into that split position you just found. So like this, and drop. And recover by stepping one foot at a time. Like this. Now, film this when you're doing it from the front and the side. Keep doing reps and try and compare it to the split position you found when you're doing this drill here. That's the other thing that's really important to make sure you find the same position. Now, after you've done this for a bit and you feel like you're getting into a good position, all you're going to do is turn into a bit more of an actual split jump but still without the hands. You're going to go like this, you're going to go up onto the toes, and you're going to go one, two. Up onto the toes, one, two. You can see I'm trying to drop my hips directly down rather than send them forwards or backwards to the side. And again, up, one, two, that's it. And after this, you start involving the hands. So all I'd have you do is hold your hands here. You can hold them in the front rack and you're just going to punch them out to the side like this as if you're punching into the bar. So again, one, two, step. One, two, step back in. So that's the body weight drills done. The next one you can go into and again, I'm going through this really quickly to show you all of them. You can do these in a day to build your split jerk if you're doing a technique session of split jerks to try and build it, or you can literally just do these drills like for a week at a time when it comes to the barbell one, so you can help to build up your technique. So the next one is really simple. It's just a push, press, and jerk. So find that split position. From here, you can start behind the neck and the front neck doesn't matter too much. Find that split position, and all you're going to do is press. So just learning how to punch into that position. The next thing would be to drive and almost do like a jerk position jerk. So here, and catch. We drill after this and start adding some footwork. So you bring the foot back and then drop. Like this, okay? And then after that, you should be able to hopefully then be able to go into natural split jerk. So that's a quick video. If you've got any questions, just like message me or comment on this. Share this around if you know someone else who's struggling with split jerks, but hopefully that should help you to find your position and have some drills that help you to work towards actually being able to find a good split jerk position, especially when it comes to the legs, making sure you're balanced and not by tipping forwards or struggling to catch the bar and rolling out to the side or catching so low your knee hits the floor.